Yep, exactly. Well, thanks for having me, Wilf. And I did recently have the opportunity to catch up with the CEO of Authentic Brands, Jamie Salter, and he pretty much put it as, look, I'm just in the first inning here. Uh, he recently received uh, about $600 million from backers that include BlackRock and Leonard Green and Partners, uh, and he says he has over a billion dollars in cash uh, on hand at this point and is looking to do many more deals. Uh, so far, um, with Simon Property Group, which is the biggest mall owner in the country, uh, Salter has come together and he's made bids for both Brooks Brothers and Lucky Brand um, and is expected to acquire both of those as those deals or transactions are completed. Um, and so far, we've seen about 40 uh, bankruptcies from retailers this year. And when I talk to folks, I think many more are expected to be on the way. Um, so certainly, uh, authentic brands here with Simon Property Group, I mean, I think it could be in some ways, you know, they could be the ones to save some of these retailers, um, you know, that are on the brink of, of collapsing, obviously, with all the pressure that's been put on the industry from the pandemic. So with about, a, again, a, more than a billion dollars on hand um, and probably expect some more deals to come. Lauren, a lot of the brands that are in Authentic's portfolio declared bankruptcy first and then were rescued right. after they had already declared. Is that still the strategy, or are they trying to rescue these companies before they actually file Chapter 11? Yeah, no, that's a great question. I, I think the strategy is um, still waiting to see who files and, and strikes some sort of deal uh, to rescue companies from bankruptcy. I think the, the thinking there is that you can get it you know, at, at a much better price and, and you know, even David Simon, the CEO of Simon Property, has said, look, we're, we're getting these retailers, you know, very cheap, um, and can, they can make their money back and are looking to make their money back uh, within a year, max. Um, so I think the strategy still is like they did with Forever 21. Um, this was this was the team that rescued Forever 21 out of bankruptcy. They rescued Aeropostale out of bankruptcy in 2016. Um, so certainly seems to be a trend here. We still are waiting to see what happens to JCPenney. Um, they're still in bankruptcy proceedings right now. Um, we're waiting to see ultimately who could save them as well.